Hey guys, now we are experiencing very hard economic times and you know how we do it at Conversations. We try to create solutions to existing problems in the automotive world. Now, uh, this segment will be coming to you every Tuesday and we are calling it Conversations Know Your Car. And our first season or our first series on Conversations Know Your Car, we are going to be getting up close and candid on ways that are going to assist you save fuel on your car because fuel prices are skyrocketing every day and we have to keep them low so that we survive these economic times. I'll be your host Eric Okabi, Eric with a CK. Do follow me at a personal level on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and today we are going to be talking about two components that really affect your car's fuel economy and why you need to keep them in check for you to have optimum engine performance and the best of fuel economy that your car should provide. For an internal combustion engine to function, you need two major ingredients. You need air and you need fuel. Now, uh, on this particular video, we are going to be talking about air and how does it affect your car's fuel consumption. How is air delivered to the engine? Basically, the engine is an air pump. So it sucks in air from the environment and it is delivered to the combustion chamber so it, mixed, it is mixed with fuel. And in petrol engines, a, a spark is introduced and an explosion causes the vehicle to move. Now, uh, before that air gets to the combustion chambers, it has to go through two key components. One of those components is the air cleaner or air filter element. The other second component is the mass airflow sensor. However, the mass airflow sensor is only uh, applicable whereby you have electronic fuel injection. Uh, so carburetor guys will not have a mass airflow sensor. But anyway, most, most, most of the cars these days uh, have electronic fuel injection. So you need the mass airflow sensor. Let's, let's go back to component number one. How does component number one affect your vehicle's fuel economy? And did you actually know that air cleaners will affect your vehicle's fuel economy? How do they do that? To understand that, we must first of all understand how or what is the function of the air cleaner. The function of the air cleaner is very easy. It protects uh, the engine from sucking in harmful debris like dust and insects from the environment into the combustion chambers. The air cleaner acts like a sieve, so it sieves out all the debris. And what happens over time, the air cleaner gets clogged. What happens when the air cleaner gets clogged? Now, have you ever ran or jogged with a mask on your face? You feel like you're struggling to get air. So when the air cleaner element collapses, it will allow in more air and debris as well. So debris is harmful to the engine because once you have uh, external debris like small rocks and uh, dust, it's, it's, it's not going to be very healthy for the engine internals. Now, the other thing is that if you allow in way more air, the mass airflow sensor is going to detect, you know, a lot more air and the, the computer will inject a lot of fuel so your vehicle might run rich. And depending on how it is calibrated, it might also give you a check engine and uh, get the engine might be starved of fuel. So it's going to run lean. Now, we have mentioned the mass airflow sensor. What does the mass airflow sensor do? For any vehicle that has electronic fuel injection, it has what we call an ECU or what we laymen call a computer. So what is the work of the computer in the car? Now, the work of the computer is to calculate the ideal air to fuel ratio for efficient or ideal combustion. It is what is called the air to fuel ratio or a stoichiometric ratio if you want to get all you know sophisticated. For the engine to run efficiently and optimally you will need to have a perfect balance of air and fuel. Now what the mass airflow sensor does it gives info to the computer on how much fuel it should inject uh, to match the combustion of the air that is coming in. So, 
This is what happens. If the mass airflow sensor is faulty, it's going to give erroneous readings to the computer. What will this do or what will be the impact of this? So if the mass airflow sensor uh, reads that there is a lot of air coming into the system, then the computer is going to inject more fuel. So if the air ratio is uh, lower than that of the fuel, or higher, or rather, let me keep it simple. If the air is more than the fuel, what will happen? Uh, the vehicle will run lean. But when the air is, you know, lower or less than the fuel, the vehicle is going to run very rich and you might even start having smoke. The vehicle is going to lose power and uh, it's going to have a very, very, very rough idle. So for you to have optimum fuel uh, economy in your car. You need the airflow sensor to give accurate readings to the vehicle's computer so that you have an ideal air to fuel ratio. And this way the vehicle is going to give you, you know, the good power output as recommended by the manufacturer. And it's also going to give you the best of fuel economy. So that is the air part. So if the air filter is faulty or it has collapsed or it, it has too much debris on it, uh, the vehicle is going to have very bad fuel economy. Now, if the, air, if the mass airflow sensor is, again, faulty, then you're going to have very bad fuel economy and a very bad uh, rough idle. It's going to be uncomfortable for you to sit in the car. Manufacturers recommend that you change your air filters every between 10,000 or the way to 20,000 kilometers. But this is subject to a few factors like where you drive your car. If you drive your car in very dusty places, you, your air cleaner change might be more frequent. If you drive mostly on tarmac and in areas that do not have much dust, you can stretch all the way to 20,000 kilometers. So what do you do? Always check the condition of your air cleaner so that you know if you're going to replace it or you're not going to replace it anytime soon because it is detrimental to your engine's health and also the fuel economy. The mass airflow sensor, if it is faulty, first thing, the vehicle is going to give you a check engine lighter. So what are the ways there to check the health of your mass airflow sensor? One of them is uh, by basically using a diagnostic uh, tool and it's going to give you the readings and even uh, information about the health of your mass airflow sensor. It might even give the, the, a below threshold you know, warning. Now the other way is pretty old school. How is it done? In the morning when you start your vehicle, you might notice, this is for petrol engines alone, you might notice some dark smoke. That means that uh, there is too much fuel in your system. Also, if you can smell petrol from the exhaust and it, you, you might see smoke traces from afar, not, not, not the humidity in the morning. I'm talking about dark smoke from a petrol engine. That will detect that, again, you have too much fuel in your engine. And that might be as a result of a faulty mass airflow sensor. I hope this has been an insightful video. And uh, be ready for more because next time we are talking about two other vital components. The throttle body and the spark plugs. I've been your host, Eric Okabi, Eric with a CK. Do give us your sentiments on our social media platforms, conversations on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also follow me at a personal level, Eric Okabi, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well. <laughs>